went by on foot and by truck to Ascenza uh, on the eastern shore of Laga de Garda. Beautiful, beautiful, huge mountain lake at the foot of the Alps. Mussolini's last home and office was right across the lake from us in a, in a place called Garniano. When we were on the east side of the lake, he was directly across from us. It was decided that, that one company would go across the lake to capture Mussolini and his mistress, and K Company was, was the chosen company. We left about two o'clock in the morning. We were in ducks, D-U-K-W-S. It's an amphibious truck, but it would go on land or it would go on sea. We expected the heavy German resistance. It turned out that that night, the Germans had started retreating to the north. So we had no opposition there at all. We took over Mussolini's palace, and I was charged with guarding this huge administration building of, uh, of uh, Mussolini's. And, and while I was there, I wandered the building a lot, and he had a lot. He had one room full of sh women's shoes. He had rooms full of clothes. He, he had a room full of artwork, coins, uh, bills, swords, violins, musical instruments, photographs, lots of things. He just, he was a great, great collector. Every night, four of us would take off and liberate a new town. Lieutenant Cadis, a sergeant, and who I can't remember who the sergeant was, and Don Kent and myself, we commanded Mussolini's big, big, long black convertible. Still had blackout lights on it. And we would drive down south on the lake shore and lib liberate a new town every night. They would carry us on our shoulders, and oh, we had had great time doing this. <laughs>